Hello there, and we're back on the Amiga. Uh, I've just, in a previous video, just actually powered it up to actually try it, and it all seems to work quite nicely. No, no issues I can see. Uh, I haven't got a mouse for it yet, so I can't really test any of that. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's that's the back of an Amiga. Uh, we've got joystick one, joystick two, uh, left and right audio, uh, disk drive, serial port, parallel port, power and RGB video and mono composite out. This particular unit looks like some of the screws have been uh, removed. It's definitely been taken apart. Um, let's just lay this down so I don't scratch it up. Um, let's have a quick look inside, see what we get. Let's actually put it in a different one. Uh, let's try this one. There we go. So we have an expansion port. Um, I believe it's memory and stuff like that you can put in there. Um, chip memory, if I remember, or something like that. So you've got fast memory, chip memory. I'm still not sure, actually. Uh, it's all relatively new to me. Uh, these looks like Torx screws. I don't know whether they're original or not. Um, so let's put that back on. Nope, something's going wrong there. There we go. Um, Model A500, serial number 450807, made in West Germany. Um, it's got a, another sticker on here saying 045087, which is the same as the serial number. Warranty stickers, you've got an expansion port um, here. Um, floppy drive on that side. Um, nice size keyboard with numeric keypad. A bit yellow. So let's, let's take this apart. So, okay, we've got a chip number of 3188 on this, so this could be a, a late 80s one. So, like that just pulls out like that. Uh, we've got a bunch of other screws. These torques look all original. There we go. Okay. Wow, there we go. Let's put that. So there we are, we're into the Amiga. It looks very clean indeed. I must admit, it's very, very clean indeed. A little dusty on the edges. Looks well used. Let's just unplug my camera right. from the panel. So. So Rock Lobster, A500P, uh, WW8788, which looks, yeah, the chips are all 3288, 3588, 0388, 0288, that's the 6500 there, 6800, sorry, um, 3488, so yeah, so this, I, yeah, this, this dates to late 1988, got a couple of capacitors here, a few here, which can all be checked and replaced as necessary. Um, this is a nicely, nicely laid out board actually. It says Fab 312512, I don't know what that means. Uh, I do love the names, Fat Angus, uh, Denise, um, was it Gary? Um, so yeah, it's it's quite a 
interesting board. I don't know what this is about. Um, so we've got some sort of, uh, what's it, Mashushita or Mashusta um, floppy drive. I don't know whether it's, uh, it probably is just uh, uh, double density. Uh, so I'm going to take that off in a second and open it up and give it a clean. So, yeah, a few more capacitors underneath there. Safi's being a little bit of a pain. She wants to go in and then she wants to go out and all sorts. So, just make sure chips are all located okay. Yeah, so there we go. I'm not going to take it out of, it, out of the case, not today. Uh, but I am going to take that drive and give it a clean. I've got some isopropanol and also I've got the some uh, the relevant grease to clean it all up, make that drive work nicely. I'm probably still going to be using the floppy drive for a little while until I sort the GoTech out. Yeah, very nice indeed. I had a devil of a job getting these supports out. Uh, somebody had actually screwed uh, one of these screws in to the bottom of the support at a slight angle. Let's see whether it was it this one. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. So somebody's misthreaded that, and I had to use uh, a pair of pliers to get this out. It was basically I had to thread it out, the whole support out. So uh, let's have a quick look. So, well sided, um, needs a little bit of lube, a little bit of TLC, I'll give the heads a clean uh, and I'll get the lube out and we'll just lubricate that and uh, yeah, looks fine. Let's clean the, the uh, floppy drive heads, so if I just do that, let's just bend that a little bit and it's difficult to see can I even remotely get in there there's the little heads and I can get in there and gently clean them what I'm gonna do is give them a gentle scrub And sometimes end up with like a glaze sitting on top of them. And then we're going to use a little bit of uh, grease. I tend to use uh, a lithium grease, uh, but you can use any general purpose grease. Um, let's just put that there. There's really no other grease on here. Um, there's a little bit at the end there, but it's really uh, pretty dry. Make sure that I don't mind putting a little bit of extra in there. Right. Cool. So that's that. That's done. nice and then we can then put this back in in Let's put the can I put the case back there yeah. 
uh, power's plugged in, cable's plugged back in again so we can see the light. Uh, floppy drives back in, uh, it needs the floppy cables put back in, doesn't it? Otherwise it won't work. There we go. And then we can turn on and see what happens. Sounds like it's working. Sounds a little faster. So it's uh, the seek seems faster, but also a higher pitch rather than a lower pitch. So yeah, that's good. There we go. That seems to work. So let's put the uh, heat uh, the heat shield <laughs> the. Um, RF shielding back on. I'm going to give it a, a proper clean up later on. That'll be another video along with some modifications. Always back them out until you feel the click. Then if you're going into um, plastic, so metal metal screw into plastic, it's back out until you feel it's it clicks, which is means it's at the top of the thread, and then you can screw it in. That means you're not recreating a thread in plastic and making the plastic weaker. So it has been open in its past, so it's probably been had the floppy drive cleaned in some shape or form by the looks of it. If somebody's been buggering around with that, uh, it's passed. And so once I get the GoTech, then there really won't, won't be a floppy drive in this. It'll just be uh, files via USB, and images via USB. So there we go. Back together again. Excellent. So let's give it a very light clean. Um, I'm just using uh, window cleaner. No preference on uh, brand. Uh, Floppy drive's been cleaned, just a visual check. Um, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, I appreciate all the support I can get. And I'll see you on the next video.